This one is called Peter Rabbit, a puppet storybook by Beatrix Potter. Pictures by Tadasu Isawa and Shigimi Hijikata. Flopsy Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter were four little rabbits who lived with their mother in a sandbank. Yeah. One morning, Mrs. Rabbit said she was going out. You may go into the fields or go down the lane, she told her bunnies, but don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. When Mrs. Rabbit left, Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, who were good little bunnies, went down the lane to gather blackberries. But Peter, who was naughty, ran straight to Mr. McGregor's garden and squeezed under the gate to eat French beans, lettuce, and radishes. Suddenly, Mr. McGregor saw Peter. He ran after Peter, waving a rake and calling out, Stop! Thief! The rabbit was quite frightened. He rushed all over the garden, for he had forgotten the way back to the gate. Peter got caught in a gooseberry net and was ready to give himself up for lost. Then Mr. McGregor came up with a seed, which he intended to pop upon Peter. But just in time, Peter wriggled out, leaving his jacket behind. He ran to a watering can and jumped in. It was a fine place in which to hide, but it had water in it. The water made Peter sneeze. ka Mr. McGregor was after him in no time. Peter jumped out of a window, upsetting three plants. It was then that Mr. McGregor decided he was tired of running after Peter. He went back to his work. Peter began to wander about, looking all around. He found a door in a wall, but it was locked, and there was no room for a rabbit to squeeze underneath. An old mouse was nearby, and Peter asked the way to the gate. But the mouse had such a large pea in her mouth that she could not answer. Peter began to cry. Peter went toward the tool shed where he heard the noise of a hoe. Scritch, scratch, scritch. He climbed upon a wheelbarrow and peeped over. Mr. McGregor was hoeing onions. His back was turned toward Peter and beyond him was the gate. Quietly, Peter got down off the wheelbarrow and started running as fast as he could toward the gate. Mr. McGregor caught sight of him, but Peter was soon safe outside the garden. And then Peter never stopped running until he was home at the sandy rabbit hole. His mother was busy cooking. She scolded him for not being good and for losing his little jacket. Then she put him to bed and made some chamomile tea for him, since Peter was not feeling well. But Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, who had been good, had bread and milk and blackberries for supper. Because he was naughty. He didn't do what his mama told him to. He went into Mr. McGregor's garden and he was not supposed to. He was naughty, wasn't he? Why was he so Did he get in time out? Yeah. Okay, that's all of that one.